hospital stay, or if someone you love lives in a nursing home, you need to build up protection now. Build up protection now. And there's one particular weapon you'll want to arm yourself with. Grown as far back as 3000 BC, the olive tree is called the tree of life. And for good reason, it's been used for thousands of years as a treatment for colds and flu. Olive leaf's active components were isolated in 1969, and when researchers at the American Society of Microbiology tested those components, those components inhibited or killed off more than 50 viruses, bacteria, fungi, and protozoa thrown at them. Can we stop one second? Stop one second. And, and that is terrific because we often talked here about olive leaf extract. Mm-hmm. Now, olive leaf extract is not the same as olive oil, which is from the fruit of the tree. Uh, olive oil is a great food. I practically live on the stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's wonderful, has many benefits. But this particular antiviral, antibacterial compound is made from, is, t- is an extract from a standardized extract from the leaf and not from the fruit. Just to make that clear. I'm glad that's made clear. Well, it is, because okay. people go, it's okay, I have an Italian food, and I put a little olive oil, I'm safe, I'm fine. I Not love exactly. olives. I love olives. That's it. Eating olives isn't going to do it, folks. No, it's an Eating olive leaf. leaves won't extra. even do it. No, it has to be extracted. Well, it has to be an, a, yeah. a, a certain standardized. concentrated of standardized extract from yes. the leaf. Yes. And but that's available to That's exciting oil, to know okay. about that. Go right ahead. Okay. Those powerful components, um, phytochemicals, including oleuropin,